premature baby girl whose feet were small was born in the United Kingdom. Victoria Bradley, 37, was told her daughter would likely not survive. But little Francesca Bradley Karen had a tremendous will to live. Had she been born 48 hours earlier, she would not have received medical attention. Under current law in Great Britain, babies born before the due date for an abortion are not considered viable because of their low survival rate. But although the survival rates of such babies are low and their bodies are often underdeveloped, there are exceptions. Nevertheless, for nine months this miracle baby battled meningitis, sepsis, and lung problems. Bradley, of Liverpool, was given a cast of her daughter's tiny footprints by medics who made them because they didn't expect her to survive. But now Francesca is alive and well, having been discharged from the hospital only 17 weeks after her birth. Bradley said, it's just great to finally come into my home. I didn't think my little girl would be here. It's scary to think, if she had shown up just two days earlier, no one would have helped us save her. The nurses allowed the mother to be with her daughter for just a few hours, and then placed her in isolation on the intensive care unit. She added, I thought the baby was still more like a fetus. Her skin was translucent, and she had no eyebrows or eyelashes. Her eyes weren't open yet. She was just unrealistically tiny, the horror. We were told she wasn't going to make it. She got a bunch of infections right away. Currently, abortions in the UK are performed until the 24th week of pregnancy, and only from the 25th week is the fetus considered human. However, under certain circumstances, a pregnancy can also be terminated at this term, if there is a risk to the mother or the baby. Those born before 24 weeks are not required to be treated or resuscitated by medical professionals, because they are not considered viable. But a 2006 study suggested that 19% of babies born at 23 weeks survived, leading many to argue that this limit should be lowered. Last year, the Royal College of Midwives argued that a woman should be able to terminate her pregnancy at any time without fear of prosecution. This position has been heavily criticized, as there is reason to believe that some will want to terminate a pregnancy if the fetus is of the wrong sex. The press campaign began after a 24-year-old woman was jailed for an intentionally induced miscarriage in her eighth month of pregnancy. Bradley was diagnosed with infertility and was convinced she could never have children because of ovarian problems. She and her partner, Paul Karen, 46, were shocked to learn she was pregnant. The pregnancy was very difficult, with back pain and severe toxicosis, and at 24 weeks, she was taken to Liverpool Hospital on April 22, where she gave birth to her daughter naturally. Placing the baby girl in an incubator on the intensive care unit, a team of 15 doctors and nurses fought to keep the girl alive. It took 11 minutes before she was able to take her first breath. The girl underwent 15 blood transfusions and laser eye surgery to keep from going blind after the scan. She also had to overcome meningitis, sepsis, two cases of lung failure and kidney problems in the first few weeks of her life. Bradley added, she just kept getting stronger every day. After eight weeks, she was able to live without an incubator, and it amazed the doctors, they couldn't stop saying it was a miracle she survived. A proud mother had Francesca's tiny footprints tattooed on her wrist to symbolically immortalize her daughter's battle for life.